वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम एंड कोड्स इन टू ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट बाइनरी एरिथमेटिक एंड ऑक्टल एरिथमेटिक इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेक्सा डेसिमल एरिथमेटिक एंड वी विल परफॉर्म एडिशन सब्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन हेक्सा डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विद हेक्सा डेसिमल एडिशन फर्स्ट वी विल एड दिस टू नंबर्स we know in hexadecimal number system the base or radix value is 16 and there we have 16 digits from 0 to 15 and from 10 to 15 these are these six digits are represented by alphabets from a to f so first we will add these two numbers and this is the mapping for 10 to 15 now in this two numbers in the least significant digit in this position we will be adding a and c now what is the value of a a is 10 and what is the value of c c is 12 so 10 plus 12 it will be 22 now again the format that we followed in octal number system here also we have the same format n will be written as the multiplication of carry and base and that will be added with sum but this time the base value is 16 so how 22 will be written it will be 16 plus 6 so 1 multiplied by 16 and then plus 6 so here the sum is 6 and carry is 1 so in place of sum we will be writing 6 and this 1 will be forwarded to the next significant digit now we will add b and 5 so what is the value of b b is 11 so 11 plus 5 it is 16 and 16 plus 1 it is finally 17 now how 17 will be represented 7 17 is 16 plus 1 so 1 multiplied by 16 and then plus 1 so in place of sum we will be writing 1 and here also we have carry 1 that will be forwarded to the next digit so here now 3 plus 7 will be added and that gives us 10 10 plus 1 it will be 11 so 11 means in hexadecimal number system it is b so in the most significant digit position we will be writing b and that is the final result of addition b16 next we will solve another exercise on addition in hexadecimal number system this time we will be adding a b2 with d e9 now 2 plus 9 it is 11 and again this is the mapping from 10 to 15 with the alphabet so 11 means it is b so in the least significant digit position we will be writing b then b plus e what is b b we know it is 11 and what is e e is 14 so 11 plus 14 it is 25 and we don't have any carry from the previous digit so 25 will be written as 16 plus 9 that means 1 multiplied by 16 plus 9 so sum will be 9 and carry will be 1 because here also we are following the same format carry multiplied by base plus sum so here we will be writing 9 and we will have one carry that will be forwarded to the next significant digit now here a will be added with d a means 10 and d means 13 So 10 plus 13 it is 23 and 23 plus 1 carry we have so finally it is 24 and 24 means it is 16 plus 8 so that means 1 multiplied by 16 then plus 8 so sum will be 8 and carry will be 1 so in place of sum we will be writing 8 and since we don't have any more digit to be added so one this final carry will be writing here so final result of addition of these two numbers will be 189b next we will perform subtraction in hexadecimal number system first we will start with two digit number then it will be followed by three digit numbers so first we will subtract 9a from d7 now 7 is okay and what about a again this mapping 
so a is 10 but here 7 is less than 10 that means we have to borrow from the next significant digit so when that will be borrowed so here since this is a hexadecimal number system so 16 that base value will be borrowed so 16 plus 7 it will be 23 so in place of 7 now we will have 23 the normal rule that we have learned in case of decimal number system also we have seen for octal number system now this time 10 will be subtracted from 23 so 23 minus 10 means 13 and how 13 can be written 13 is mapped with d so it will be d only so here in this place we will be writing d now 16 has been borrowed from this position so this will be decreased by 1 now d is mapped with 13 so when it will be decreased by 1 so it will become 12 and alphabetically we can go in the reverse order so when d will be decreased by 1 so it will be c and that value will be 12 so this time 9 will be subtracted from 12 and that result of subtraction will be 3d so this is the final result of subtraction of these two numbers next we will perform subtraction in hexadecimal number system between two three digit numbers so this time 98b will be subtracted from d27 and again we will be using this mapping so b will be subtracted from 7 first and b is 11 so since 11 is more than 7 so we need to borrow from the next significant digits so 16 the base value is 16 so 16 will be borrowed and 16 plus 7 it will be 23 so this time in place of 7 we can imagine 23 and 11 will be subtracted from 23 so this value will be how much it will be 12 and 12 will be which alphabet this is c so in hexadecimal number system this in this position it will be represented by c now we have borrowed from this position so 2 will no more be 2 it will be 1 less and that will be 1 but we are going to subtract 8 from 1 but how, it is this is not possible because 1 is less than 8 so what we have to do we have to again borrow from the next significant digit and this time again we will be borrowing 16 so 16 plus 1 now it will become 70 so this will be 17 now and we will be subtracting 8 from 17 so 17 minus 8 it will become 9 so we can easily write 9 here now since we have subtracted 16 from this position so this value will become will be decreased by 1 so d will become now c and c means it will be 12 so when 9 will be subtracted from 12 this result of subtraction will be 3 so it is the result of final subtraction will be 3 9 c next we will perform multiplication in hexadecimal number system first we will multiply to two digit numbers so 9a will be multiplied by 7b and again this mapping so in place of a we can think of 10 in place of b we can think of 11 and 10 when it will be multiplied by 11 it will give us 110 now 110 has to be fit in this format which is carry multiplied by base and then plus sum it can be written as 96 plus 14 and 96 means it will be 6 multiplied by 6 16 plus 14 so this time the sum will be 14 and carry will be 6 so in place in this place we can write 14 and 14 is mapped with e so in hexadecimal number system here we will be writing e and we have carry how much it is it is 6 so that will be forwarded to the next significant bit now b will be multiplied by 9 so b is 11 and 9 when it will be multiplied by it will become 99 and we have carry 6 so 99 plus 6 it will be 105 and 105 can be written as 96 plus 9 so that means it will be 6 multiplied by 16 plus 9 so sum will be 9 and carry will be 6 so in place of sum we can write 9 and since we are left with no more digit to be multiplied so we can write the carry here itself now this is the first partial product and next we will have our next or last partial product and that will be for this 7 so first 7 will be multiplied by a that means 7 will be multiplied by 10 so it is 70 70 can be written as 64 plus 6 64 means 
4 16 are 64 and then plus 6 so sum is 6 and carry is 4 so here we'll be writing 6 and then we have carry next we'll multiply 7 by 9 so it will be 63 and we have carry 4 here so it will be 63 plus 4 67 so it can be written as 4 multiplied by 16 which gives us 64 and then plus 3 so in place of sum we will have 3 and in place of carry we will have 4 so this is the second partial product and then we will add these two and we will get the final product so here since e is not added with any more digits so it will remain e only 9 plus 6 it will be 15 and 15 is less than 16 and that 15 is mapped with f so it will be f here then 6 plus 3 it is 9 which is also less than 16 so we can write freely here and then we have only 4 so the final result of multiplication of these two two digit numbers is 4 9 f e next we will multiply two three digit numbers these are the numbers 2 3 4 and 5 c a so 5 c a will be multiplied by 2 3 4 again we will have three rounds of partial products and then those partial products will add to get the final product and again this is the mapping so we'll start our multiplication with 4 we will add all these three partial products to get the final product now here we have only 8 so that we will write straightforward next we will add e with 2 e is how much e is 14 so 14 plus 2 it is 16 and 16 means it is 1 multiplied by 16 plus 0 so in place of sum we will have 0 and in place of carry we will have 1 now 7 plus 5 it will be 12 12 plus 4 it is 16 and 16 plus 1 it is 17 and 17 means it can be written as 1 multiplied by 16 then plus 1 so in place of sum we will have 1 and then we will have 1 carry here so 9 plus 1 10 plus 1 11 and here we have 1 that is 12 and 12 means c so here we will be writing c and 11 plus 1 again that is 12 and that is again c so this is the final product cc108 so i hope in this class you have gained a good knowledge on hexadecimal arithmetic with that hope i end today's class thank you